the election and we are seeing long lines at the polls in that rain. Voters started to line up at 7 this morning and there's been a steady stream of people all day long. One of the big races we're watching tonight, U.S. House District 3. A recount, you'll remember, confirmed Lori Trahan as the Democratic nominee and she's now facing off against Republican Rick Green. WBZ's Michael Cross is live tonight in Lowell where those two candidates will face off tonight. Mike? Liam, uh, Lori Trahan and Rick Green are still out on the campaign trail tonight, trying to reach every last voter before those polls close at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Lori Trahan was all smiles casting her vote first thing this morning in Westford. The Democratic nominee is confident she'll be heading to Washington to represent the 3rd Congressional District. We've had tremendous response the whole way, and so we're really excited about uh, big wins across the country and certainly a uh, big win here in the 3rd Congressional District. Trahan won the nomination after a recount following a razor thin margin with opponent Dan Coe. The two candidates were among a field of 10 hoping to fill the seat currently held by Nikki Songus. Very big day, yeah. It's uh, 13 months and it all comes down to this. How you doing? The Republican in the race, Rick Green, is spending election day trying to reach every last voter in the geographically large district. Green said he's focused on bringing the federal government back to the people. The framers intended the House of Representatives to be the branch of federal government closest to the people, and that's what I've talked about for a whole year, and that's what we want to bring back to the people. Right now, Rick Green is casting his own vote at his hometown of Pepperell. Lori Trahan is in Lawrence at a polling location before coming here to her watch party. We're live in Lowell tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.